Praise God, I welcome you again on this program in His presence and I'm so confident today that God is going to open a new chapter to you and I again by His word on this platform in the name of Jesus Christ. Today I want to speak with us on what I titled the Ark of God's Mercy. Hallelujah the ark of God's mercy. I want to begin today by saying that the presence of God is the ark of God's mercy. In other words, for you to get access to the mercy, the mercies of God, you must be a man and a woman that dwells in the presence of God. The Bible said in Hebrews, chapter number 4 and verse number 16. He said, let us therefore now come boldly to the throne of grace. Please mark that word. Come boldly to the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. You see, I was thinking about that scripture and I realized that you can be in the place of grace and not be a partaker of grace. He said, come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy. Then you will find grace to help in time of need. So the presence of God is a place where you obtain mercy. And when you obtain mercy, grace becomes available to you. So, the mercy of God is a thing that every believer needs in his or her life. For you to experience the reality of the grace of God, you must be a partaker of his mercy. His mercy is that boundless patience, that boundless forbearance. You see, grace sees you as sinful. Grace sees you as guilty. But his mercy sees you as somebody that is miserable and needs help. Grace is what you don't deserve, you just get. God just let it go. But mercy is what avails you that grace that gives you what you don't deserve. That's why a man like David is a man we still celebrated today because he was a partaker of the grace and the mercies of God. So, mercy is what overrides judgment. Mercy is that thing that gives you what you don't deserve. You're watching iBrand TV. So, maybe you are living today and your life has become miserable. You have, you have done so much and you think that there is no hope for you. No, this word is for you. God wants to give you a fresh start the way he gave David a fresh start. He wants to give you an opportunity for you to redeem your life and become the man and the woman he has made you from the beginning to be. Yes, you have sinned. Yes, you have done so many wrongs. And you have been condemned by men. 
man has written you off. Even you as a person have written yourself off. You have written yourself off. No hope for you. But mercy says there is still hope for you. If only you can recognize the reality of that availability of mercy. If only you can accept it. If only you can decide to walk in it. You will become a particle of it. So I join you. I call you today to come to that place where God has prepared for you. That place of mercy. You know what the Bible said? In Romans chapter number 9 and verse 16. He said the race of life is not to him that will it. It's not to him that run it. It is of the Lord that showed mercy. It is of the Lord that showed mercy. So it doesn't matter how far you have gone. It doesn't matter what you have done. The mercy of God is available to you today. If you can just come, he will make that mercy available to you and he will extend his grace to you. And you will become a partaker of that grace that gives you help in time of your needs. Today, I encourage you, cry for that mercy. Look at your life. Do you really deserve what you are getting? The little you have gotten is because God has availed to you his mercy. He said, he said it, is, it is because of his mercies that we are not consumed. to crave for it, long for it. If you need to beg, beg for it. And you see, a new chapter will keep unfolding in your life. The Bible says, His mercies are new every morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His mercies are new every morning. Praise God. May God grant you access to that mercies of God in the name of Jesus Christ. But remember I said, His mercy is in his presence come boldly to the throne of his grace that you might obtain mercy you can be in a place of grace and not be a particle of grace but his mercy gives you the access into that grace that will turn everything about your life around i believe you have received his word may you find that grace may you find that mercy in the name of jesus christ Amen.